my god! What's going on guys? Today we're bringing to you a scum abandoned bunker guide. I'm very excited to bring this to you. 0 0.9 is here and there's been a lot of changes. So we're definitely uh, going to get straight into this right away. If you're not familiar with how to find the abandoned bunkers, I'm going to go ahead and show you really quick how to do that. Uh, so first things first, we're going to go over to our uh, scummap.com here. And you will see over here in the uh, sidebar here, you can go to map filters and you can actually adjust what you see. So on this, I can actually show uh, points of interest, things like that, outposts, all of that stuff. But we're going to do the bunkers. Now, the red bunkers are the normal ones, okay? Uh, and then there's obviously ones that show that they have kill boxes, okay? But this one we're looking at is just abandoned bunkers. And we are already there uh, at the B2 bunker. So make sure you guys check the link in the description for scummap.com so you can figure out uh, where these locations are in relation to where you decide to spawn. And so you can have a good time with the game. It really is a great useful tool, so I highly recommend it. Um, also, let's go ahead and just pop right over back into the game here. And there we go. And so... Now, I want to go ahead and show you uh, what my character build is. Um, my character build currently is actually a, a quad three build, like I call it, which is uh, three strength, three constitution, three dexterity, three intelligence. Uh, for strength tree, we went with melee advanced, okay? Uh, and then we have for constitution, advanced running and advanced stealth for dexterity. And then we have advanced medical for intelligence. Now, the beautiful thing about the 0 0.9 update, guys, is that intelligence is now a skill that can be increased permanently. Very, very cool. Uh, and we'll hopefully get into that shortly as we go. But basically, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and get rolling here. Now, being that I picked Advanced Melee, there was a reason for that. And it's because uh, these guys inside of here, uh, the Razors, they are extremely... Uh, you know, they're pesky. They're not extremely that difficult, but they are pesky and if you get cornered or you get enough uh, other zombies attacking you It's gonna be a shit fest <laughs> So I definitely recommend uh, you use advanced melee and get yourself a nice melee weapon you can actually find some pretty solid melee weapons at the Chinese shop, uh, such as like the Dao sword or Chinese uh, swords uh, in this town, D4, D3 here. Or you can make a sword. Uh, things like that is a great idea. You don't have to use a sword, but it's it's a lot better than some of the other melee weapons in my opinion. Uh, Metal Spear is also pretty solid, uh, believe it or not. And um, we won't get into this one here, the eggplant one. Uh, but <laughs> what I will show you is... A uh, metal sword can be crafted with two metal scrap, some rope or th uh, thread, or wires, or tree bark rope. And you can also use a piece of rubber and or rubber bands. And then you can use a toolbox, improvised one, or a regular one. So, for the sake of the video, I am in single player for this guide because it is so... It is very... It's a pain in the ass. I'll just be honest with you. So to do this on multiplayer will be a real, a real uh, time suck uh, for you guys as well as for me. But I will do a multiplayer guide um, as far as like a PvP run of this at some point. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of the abandoned bunker. So to get started here, we want a weapon. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, find one real quick and spawn it in. So let me do that here, and let's type in metal sword. Whoops, metal. Let's just do that. Metal, 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 metal sword. And we're going to get two of these, some bitches. I might even get three. I'm going to be greedy, and I'm going to get three of them. I know it's, you know, kind of not realistic, but I'll, I'll explain why. So I'm going to pick three swords, okay? And we've got one for our back, two for our back. And one for our hand here, okay? Now, why do I need all these swords? Well, the reason is, is because if you get into a conflict with the razors, uh, they will knock you to the ground 
and pounce on you, and then you're going to have to do like a mini game, basically mash an F uh, or one other key, whatever you bound yours to, uh, to get out of the hold. Wait a minute! Oh, Sacco! Oh, Mr. Sacco! And the mandible claw! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, he's got that... <laughs> Sock running right down the gullet of Mr. McMahon. And then you're going to drop your weapon, whatever's in your hand. So you want to be able to quickly switch. Uh, you know, for example, if this one's dropped on the ground, well, we won't want to be able to switch to the next sword on our back, right? So on and so forth. So that's why I'm doing this. You don't need three. I'm just doing it for, for effect. But you could use a bow in this, uh, you know, bunker as well. But... I really have not seen it be that effective. Obviously, for killing normal puppets, it's fine. You can use it to kill the Razor, too. But when they get right up on you, it's tiff It's a little bit more difficult. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get moving. Now, I will tell you, there are some, uh, some containers out here uh, and things like that. And you guys could check out the you know vicinity on your own here. A couple cabins here. Uh, but I wanted to get straight into what's inside here now we are in the daytime as you see now with it being daytime we cannot actually get into this bunker without a key card unless we do a hacking mini game so we're gonna need to do that also don't forget to check out these doors over here uh, both of these go upward to the same area and they do have some looting areas up here um, I haven't found anything great yet, but there might be a weapon spawn or something like that. It's worth checking out. Same thing up here. There's a ladder you can go up. And it goes to the same area. But here's what we have to do here. Uh, by the way, if it is nighttime, uh, you will not need to do this minigame because the doors will unlock at night. So you don't have to do it at night. Uh, but in daytime, you're going to have to do it or you're going to have to find a key card. Uh, and you can find key cards typically in like the offices or just some looting spots inside of this bunker. Do look out for it, you know, loot the loot the desks, loot the filing cabinets, so on and so forth. And uh, I ate way too much butter chicken for dinner tonight, so I'm trying not to throw up on myself during this video. So if you hear me, you know, uh, vomit, uh, you know, just know it's, that's why. You gave up on life, didn't you? Anyway, so first thing, hold F and do hack card reader. Basically, this is the, what you're going to see here. It says, by flipping a switch on the left side, you execute the calculations on the right side. I hope you guys listened in elementary school math and learned your multiplication tables and your division and all that. Because you're going to need it here. Um, if not, um, you know, good luck. But basically, calculations always execute from top to bottom. So whatever is on the top... Uh, that's going to be what's executed first and going down and so forth. And it says, regardless of what order the switches are flipped, uh, it's going to calculate from top to bottom. And then uh, the current outputs show the result of each column. I'll show you that here in a moment. Uh, when both current outputs match the required outputs, pull the handle on the bottom left. And holy fucking shit, that was a lot to read. And um, I, I'm not feeling so smart, if you know what I mean, okay? Let's go ahead and go forward here. So we're going to hit the space bar to stop. There is going to be a timer in the corner here. Um, and you're going to see this shit fest here. So there is a timer. 
These are what we have to add. Use. Uh, <laughs> these calculate here and will change these values, and we have to make them these values, if that makes sense. So 200. Uh, let's do. Let's divide. I'm hoping. Okay. And divide again, hopefully. Uh, okay. Can I minus 100? Would be great. Fuck. Gonna do minus that. Ah, uh, we were gonna be so fucked, guys. Alright, anyway, you're gonna see what happens when you don't get it done in time. Alright. Timer's gonna go off, and the alarm's gonna go off here. And, um, a little fun fact is you can do this as many times as you want. However, if you do it enough times, Mr. Brenner is going to come to to see you. And he's going to come open these doors, and you're going to shit your pants. Okay? He's going to come through the door and flame your ass with a fucking torch. Okay? With a flamethrower. So just be, be warned. So we need 90. So let's do 90. Let's see. I don't fucking hear them. So let's do. Oh shit! Fucking Brenner! Oh! Oh my god! Fucking Brenner, dude! He opened the door! So that's what happens if you fucking fuck up too many times, guys. Brenner's coming out here. Come here, bitch! Come out here! Come fuck with me, I wanna fuck with you up. This is unexpected, guys. Let's go in and strike him. Oh, I fucked up. Oh! I'm burning. Burning alive. Can I survive this? Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Come on. Oh shit, he's burning me. This is hilarious, guys. Can I kill Brenner? I'm not even hitting him. Oh my god. This is bad. C2 everywhere. C3. Brenner fucking came to the door, guys. Holy shit. So that's what happens. So it fucking happens. If you fuck up too many times, guys. I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. But I pissed him off enough. Disturbed his slumber enough. To have that man come out and visit. Um, so if we keep going like this, he's gonna, he's gonna pay us a visit. I suck. And I'll try again. All right. Zero and 15. Can I do math? Can I do math? Okay. 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 Can I do math? I've switched these all on, huh? Uh, I got it. And there we go. Open that bitch right there, and here we are. Holy shit. And while I did it out of order, guys, it, all that matters is that you get the calculation right, okay? I smart enough to do math. I do math real good. I can handle things. I'm smart. Not like everybody says. Like dumb. I'm smart and I want respect. All right. Next, we've got another door, okay? So we have the same shit to do. And if you hear... Clang a clang a clung and it's Mr. Brenner, okay? Or it's one of the razors. Now I will give you a quick tip. Um, if you look here with my mouse cursor, you will see a speaker icon. That is gonna tell you how loud you are, okay? And if you are running, it's gonna get louder. And if you use a scroll wheel to walk, it's quieter. If you jog, it's a little louder. And as you loot, okay. That gets pretty loud, okay? Depending on what you're looting. 
And once you get loud enough, the razors are going to come out to visit, okay? And you hear that noise? That's a razor with a baby. With a baby! Ah, it's a baby! Oh, hi. Baby, the other, other weight meat. Baby, it's what's for dinner. Now, that noise in the rafters there, all right, that is the razor. And if you stay quiet about five seconds or so, you should be able to proceed and keep moving without them coming to see you. But if this little blue icon gets above, you know, right around here, they're gonna come, they're gonna come down if you keep making noise. But I want them to come down. I want them to face me. All right, because I want to show you how you can kill them with the metal sword and how many, how many slashes is it gonna take? Hello. Can you come down and play? Come up to play! Aha. Uh -huh. They I think they're coming. They're gonna come see us. But I think before they see us, I think we're gonna have to open the door. Cause I don't think they'll actually come out of here. Yeah, there's a hatch that'll open. And then uh they'll pop down. Yeah, they're not coming down. I do hear them. I hear something. In the meantime, let's go ahead and unlock this shit. Next one, let's do it. Can we do it again? Okay. 20. Alright. Fucking A. Did I do it? Fucking did it again. Holy shit. That was easy. I'm getting fucking lucky as fuck. Uh-huh, if you saw my other takes, guys, my last attempt at this guide, you would be very, very impressed at what I'm able to do at this point now. That last time was not a, that was not a pretty time. It was not pretty. Having the advanced stealth, now if you see here, guys, I'm gonna crouch, okay? I'm in, I'm in stealth mode, okay? This is a keypad, and we need to power this room, but at the moment we cannot do that. So... In the meantime, we're gonna fucking kill all the zombies in here. One, two, three. One, two, three, three. Four. Four whaps. What did he say? You know, doing that is loud, of course. Um, now, I will encourage you, loot all the bodies. Especially the uh, the bodies of the uh, the razors that you kill. This is gonna be loud as fuck. Ah, uh, they're gonna come through that vent right there. You hear that shit? Let's go ahead and be, let's go ahead and be loud. Let's be loud. Let's have them come visit. Can you come visit me? Hello. They're going to drop from there, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well, this door needs forced to open manually. There's an office. There's a fucking puppet in here. Oh, oh, oh there's two puppets! And we got Alpha from a fucking... God damn it. We got Alpha from fucking Walking Dead over here. All right, they just dropped down. Now, like I said, I was being a little, a little sloppy there, but in a normal scenario, you would, you would want to be way more careful than that. But in these offices, you should be able to get a key card or something. Um, but again, I'm not. The objective here is to show you how to get through it. Now, the puppet, I mean, the razor's up here somewhere. Let's go ahead and have him come visit us. Why don't you come down, big boy? Oh. I believe they, they opened it. Okay. Yeah, they opened this lot. Are they coming down or what? You coming? Come to visit. Hmm. 
They're not, they're not spawning down. That's interesting. But anyway, while you're looting, guys, look out for something. Oh, fuck. There it is. Up. Tap, 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 tap. Don't kill me. We've been doing so well. Dropped my shit. I dropped my shit. And that's why we want multiple swords or melee weapons on our back. It's for that reason. And I killed him. All right. How much are we... How bleeding are we here? C2. Okay. Uh, for the sake of the video and time, I'm going to just do some Phoenix Tears really quick. Because I just don't want to die right now. We're far from dying, but... I, uh, things are going smooth. I, I want to keep it that way. Okay. So I'm going to actually drag this to my quick slot. Or right, let's put it on hand here. Drag it to quick slot. Inject the Mundo. And let's get ourselves healed up really quick. And by the way, you can actually find items on these guys. Now normally guys, when you loot these uh, razors here, uh, they will drop these things called ampules, intelligence ampules. I'm going to go ahead and spawn one in really quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's go here. And they have different levels, such as 1, 2, and 3. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do 2. And then we'll do 3. And basically, what these do is they will temporarily boost your intelligence. Okay? So let me go ahead and show you. The number 1 will give you a 1 point boost. So we can go ahead and drink these. All right. And now you will see we have four intelligence. Again, these are temporary. Uh, they last about an hour. Okay. Um, and if you drink the same one again, it basically will just increase it by about 30 minutes. So let me go ahead and do the one again. Okay. I'm just going to drop it really quick. And let's go ahead and see what it does here. So it doesn't show you the timer or anything like that. But some people have said that it's about an hour's worth of time. But if we go ahead and drink another, it's not going to increase another point. Uh, since it's only, only going to upgrade one point. But it will stack the time. Okay. Uh, now, if we go ahead and do the other one, the blue... This should upgrade us by two points. Okay. All right. So now we're at five. Now, because we already uh, had one point from the other one, it doesn't stack it, but it gives you two. So we started with three, add two. What do we get, guys? Five, right? So that's how that works. Now, you can get to a maximum of eight intelligence. Um, by using these now you can get maximum of five permanently by using modules which is different than the ampule okay uh, but the other uh, intelligence that you would gain so like once you get to five permanently and you drink these okay the maximum you could go to for intelligence would be would be eight and then again that's gonna wear off over time um, and then you'd be back to five again if you had like the permanent upgrade, which we'll show you in a little bit. Um, let me go ahead and drink one more of these. This one should upgrade you uh, th by three, as you see there. And so again, we started with three, and it gives you three. Now, if you drink again, if you drink another, it has to be of the same type. Okay, I'm gonna do two and three. Okay, these should actually stack again here for the time. So the time for the blue will stack by 30 minutes. The time for the purple will stack by 30 minutes. That's basically how it would go. And that's how those work. Now, those are not to be confused with modules, okay? So let me go ahead and show you modules, all right? Um modules are these okay 
So we've got one. Excuse me. Two. Three. And we have level four. So I'm actually going to uh, spawn a quick backpack really quick. Uh, backpack and then we've got a quick quiver here so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my backpack now we'll get into this a little further here in a little bit but I do want to go into inside of the special the special room that allows you to fill these normally if you find these by looting they are gonna be empty so you're gonna see you're gonna find one uh, unless you killed a player for one you're going to find them empty in most uh, case, and it'll be 0 out of 16 filled, 0 out of 8, 0 out of 4, 0 out of 2. So, and by doing these things, okay, um, these will upgrade you permanently. Now, I have a advanced medical, okay, and with that being said, I'm going to actually stand away from this pool of blood here. Uh, <laughs> being that we have these filled already... Um, we can actually permanently upgrade our intelligence with a uh, module, and those are not to be confused with the ampules, okay? They're not interchangeable or anything like that. They don't fill um, the modules. The modules are filled at a station inside of a room, okay? And I will show you that here uh, as we get in there. Now, once these are filled, guys, you can take them to the medical trader, to get them put in for a fee, uh, but it will be a 100% success rate of, of the upgrade for the permanent intelligence upgrade. Um, or you can try it yourself. For for me, with an advanced medical skill, I have a 75% chance of success. Um, if you do not have any medical skill, you're you're looking at you know this probably not going to go well. Okay. Um, and with that being said, these are going to be required that you go back to the room, the upgrade module station, okay, uh, to fill the modules, and it's gonna be about six hours each time before it can be refilled. Um, that may not have been implemented yet, uh, but on the patch, last patch notes, it did say six hours. So just know that you're gonna be running to these bunkers a lot, all over the map, or you can go back and forth to the same one. Um, but it's going to have to be every six hours um, or depending upon your server reset time to fill these. And so if you're running around with these on a PvP server and you get killed, then somebody else is going to get these and it's going to suck. And you're going to have spent all that time running around. Um, and then not to mention the fact that when you if you fill one to 100 percent here, uh, 16 out of 16 or whatever the max capacity is. If you fail, it's for nothing, and it's going to be a real loss to you for time. So I would really just go ahead and encourage you, in most cases, go to the medical trader, pay the fee, and get it upgraded 100% success rate. But see, being that we can spawn these in, I'm going to show you guys what's possible here. Alright, so we had an upgrade success, it says. So now we've upgraded to 6.5 intelligence. And again, the, those little ampules we drank, uh, that's temporary, whereas this half a point here is actually permanent. So when the ampules go away, when this dissolves, all right, we're going to have 3.5 intelligence, which is pretty freaking sweet. All right. And again, you do not have to be at the station in order to drink, in order to upgrade. So you just need the station that we'll get to shortly in order to fill these modules okay so just let one to be clear about that now we can try the blue one and let's let's see if this one works how does this work out another success so I'm telling you guys if you want to be risky and if you just don't have the money or however much it's gonna be at the trader to do it uh, and you want to be risky about it Man, at least take advanced medical right from the get-go. That way you have a good shot at getting these upgraded. So now we have seven. Okay. So we have upgraded again our intelligence. All right. And let's go ahead and go with the next one so I can show you. A 
We're getting lucky as fuck over here, man. All right, another success. Yet again, increasing more. Let's go with the next one. And uh, by the way, the gold and the purple are rare. So just know that those are very rare. So just keep that in mind. That one failed. See? So it is a chance. Even if you have a 75% chance, there is a chance you will fail. Okay? Uh, let me get the module back again for number four here. And let's try again. And that one worked. So now we are at a max of eight intelligence, which means five of the points are actual permanent points. And then the three uh, enhancement what came from these ampules here, all right? Those are, per those are temporary. So five is permanent and three of the points are temporary. So once those wear off uh, with this ampule that we drank, we'll be back to five. But that is how you upgrade yourself intelligence wise and like i said the reason that you care about that is because you want to be able to um you know you want your skill points to go up in the xp to be much more favorable so you can level quicker and that's how you would do it and then once we get into the room i'm going to show you um how to fill them and we'll be there hopefully shortly and again you'll find those modules in the bunker here okay Check every puppet you kill, every razor you kill. Ampules are the same. Uh, you'll find the ampules on, on the razors. Um, and then you'll also, while you're in here looting things, you're going to want to look for fuses. And we're going to need to find some fuses, um, or I'll just spawn them in again. But I'll show you what the fuses look like. Fuse. Let's type in the word fuse here. We got different fuses, two, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000 amp, okay? I'm going to go ahead and just pop them all in. All right, so now we have all these fuses that we found in all these crates and all the everything. <laughs> um, there we go. We're going to need these fuses in order to power this bunker. We're going to need to find a fuse box, okay, so that we can do this. Now, these are bathrooms. I'm going to try to be quiet a little bit. Now, offices here and sleeping quarters, all these rooms are for you to loot. And you should be able to find key cards also uh, to access these doors without having to go through the hacking game and all that like that. Um, but let's go ahead and try to open this and find out if we can get the fuse box. gonna be a razor popping out any minute I know it gotta be ready hmm. let's go ahead and kill you through Come on, bitch. You're getting me. I gotta get you. There's one. It would pay if I had a bow, but we don't need it. Come on, bitch. Fuck, he stuck me good. How much damage did he do? C2. A little bit. Let's get you. Come on, bitch. You die already. Oh, fuck. 
I'm passed out. God damn. So those things will fucking pass you the fuck out, guys. Damn. Alright. While I don't want to do this, I am going to show you. I'm going to heal. Bop, bop. And bop. As you can see here, two rags, guys, that aren't even that good. 60% rag and 38% rag will treat my C3 bleeding injury. We're at 3 fame right now, so let's see if that up increases our fame point real quick. As a way to get our fame back in, in intact. And that did not do it. God damn, he was... Come on, bitch, I need to get you. There, finally. Alright, just so we don't fucking die. I know that, you know, we're healing. I want to go ahead and use these tears. So I can uh, keep us up in the fight here. All right. Let's get our swords back here. Oh, fuck. Pretty sure that they're down there now. Let's be quiet. Fucking scary shit. Now we do have advanced stealth, but you still gotta be careful. Alright, we gotta manually open this door too. But I wanna look in here really quick. So we've got sleeping quarters, office, bathroom. More sleeping quarters. office there's a depository all right we're gonna have to open the door I will tell you guys bunkers are well hell of a lot scarier now than they used to be All right, let's go ahead and open this. Definitely waking those fucking things up, man. hits. Holy shit. And again, I forgot to search one of the other ones earlier. Oh, and there's a key card, guys. So there you go. Like my point exactly, it will open up the, the bunker. So now we don't have to do the stupid hacking game to get in here. Very, very nice. I'm not gonna bother looting. What do we got here? More you Ewans. More Ewans. Now 
Now these cannot be forced open. Another depository. That can be forced open. Armory. Might as well kill them all while I can. Ah, and I found a fuse on the ground, guys. So there you go. Fuses are there. And again, I'm doing Phoenix Tears because I'm trying to save my life here. So that we can get this guide through here. I'm really starting to wonder if I should have a spear. I'm going to do that. Hold on. What would be better for me in this place, you know? I also have the Wushu spear. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's so much nicer. Man, I think I might pick a metal spear next time, guys. And that can be crafted mighty easily. Metal, long stick, rope, and a bludgeoning or cutting tool. Cutting tool. Look at that shit. So that cannot be opened. And it shows us where we are in here or near E and C oh and there's another fucker right there let's go ahead and take him one a two a three a four a five and this is a depository right here and it says the exits that away But we need this opened. I'm gonna open this section here too. I wanna see what's down there. And if you wait about five seconds, guys, after you hear the knocking and the air vent, you should be okay. Oh God, oh guys, oh no, closing the door, holy shit, did you see that horde, I feel like I'm in the fucking 28 weeks later, holy shit, oh you know what, this is perfect, spear, spear, so this is why I think the metal spear is better for this, so yeah guys, I uh, changed my mind, metal spear is king, Inside of here, I can stay back, not get myself cut, clipped. Fucking fuck them all up, guys. Look at that. Easy work. So, metal spear or better, wushu spear, whatever you got. I just made quick work of all these fuckers. And now, look at all these bodies here I got. I can loot for materials. Let's, let's pull them. Hey, bitches. Oh. The key is to close the door fast enough so they don't kill us. So they don't come after me and kill me. So that was nice. This is a little tactic, guys, that you should be using in here. 
Pull them all. Close the door. Use a metal spear. Oh, I gotta be quiet. Oh, there's a razor. There. Oh, there's a razor. Perfect test. another one that's going to be here any second. Hopefully not on this side of the fence, but it could be. Let's finish him off. Look around my back of my shoulder here. Oh no! I fucked up! One. Two. I fucked up, guys. I fucked up. I fucked up. I opened the gate. I'm not supposed to do that. Oh, Jesus. Bro, get off me. Alright, we'll have to test this out on another, another fucker here. Oh, I got him. I closed it. Okay. God damn, guys. Holy shit. Oh. Almost fucked up my own strat. Oh, I'm C4. Got 11 Phoenix here, baby. Or rags would have worked fine. I would have been able to heal with rags. C4 bleeding. Oh! If I die from this little fuck. Unexpectedly. I'll be so pissed, dude. Okay. Where's my metal spear, eh? I'm gonna spawn another. That's the beauty of single player, eh? Hey? You make mistakes, you can improvise. Uh oh. Oh shit! Guys! No! 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 Oh my god, if I die from this, I'm gonna be so mad, guys. I swear to god. I swear to fucking. Oh my god. Finish these guys already, Mike. Jesus. All from a little mistake. I hit the wrong fucking button, I opened the door my own trap and almost I almost fucked myself over I'm gonna finish you already bro another one coming here. Oh god damn it guys. Oh god damn it. Ah. Let's hit this one. Close the door. Oh guys. Oh my lord. It's just too much. Oh, this is too much. Too much, guys. I gotta breathe for a minute. I gotta fucking breathe. there how'd you forget about me all right I want to finish you off little piggy I need to know how many hits is it gonna take Oh, 
We need to do the fuse box still. Alright. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. It's because I'm not getting direct hits, I think. Through the fence. I think I'm losing damage, possibly. That was a lot of hits, guys. So I, maybe the metal sword still is king, but... For doing this uh, through the fence thing... To clear puppets... I still think the spear is great, but... Dealing with the razors, you, need, you really should have a sword. Definitely. Alright, we need to get this fuse box thing open before I fucking die, okay? God damn it! <clears throat> Oh my god, guys, this is so stressful. I don't know if I'm ever going back in one of these again. Definitely taking reduced damage from being through the fence. And at last, we have found the generator room. After much pain, agony, and suffering. So we are going to need to fix the generator. Power the shit up. Bitch. I got you trapped now. Now, obviously, I could just keep face tanking things, guys, but it, I'm trying these different strats so you guys can know. Oh, shit. So you guys can know what you could do if you want to be a little bit more guarded. Or if you want to try and go full, full, uh, Ninja Gaiden on him. As you guys know, we have killed a fuckload of these today. I've never believed, I could not believe how many we've killed.
And this is the fuse room here. It has been a long awaited journey to this room. All right. Now, how we operate this, guys, is essentially uh, make sure you also see where you're at. It says you are here. And we need to go back down here once we get the fuse thing going here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to attach. Let's see. I'm going to attach a 1000 amp fuse. And that's going to last a lot longer than some of the other ones. It says it lasts at least like 20 minutes. So that's very nice. Obviously, the different lower amps will last only so long. But what we want is uh, we want to get B opened. So I'm going to do that. And then um, so B is about 400 amps, it looks like. And then we're going to do C and A. So what do we got here? B, C, A. 400, 200, 100. So we have about 700. D. is a 100 e so we've got two four six seven eight nine looks like we're actually over on our amps if i can see that unless that's a 100 i'm just gonna leave it like this for now and if you do go over your amps, uh, it will burn the fuse out, I believe. So just know that. But I, I think that says 100, but it could be 400. I don't know. Either way, I think we're going to leave it at that. And we're going to go ahead and move on. And what we want to do is go to... Now, as you can see, everything is powered. Okay. So now... Uh, this is a security area, which I don't really care to go in at this moment. But there are other areas that are now powered with the keypads, okay? And here's the depository, guys. And this is obviously another loot room in here you can check out. But the whole point here is to go to the depository. Now we have a keypad that we need to try to open the code and if you see this, um, these are kind of showing that they're, they've been overused on the pad. Uh, they're worn. So it's a three-digit code, and we have to guess what combination it's going to be. And essentially, if we get it wrong, the alarm's going to go off. Uh, if we get it wrong three times, the alarm's going to go off. And then that means we're going to have more incoming razors and other fellows, probably. So, only so many possible combinations, so I'm going to start from the top, and we'll just kind of figure it from there. I would probably recommend that you guys have a notepad or something, just so that you know which ones you've entered already um, to help you, so that you don't re-enter them again if you do fail it. So, in this case, I'm going to just write down really quick, 910... And then I'm going to do 901. And then I'm going to do 019 if needed. So that's what I'm going to try first. 910. No. And then we're going to do 9 up. And we only have so many seconds to do it. So just know that. As you saw there, there was a timer that popped up. And if you have a... Oh, fucking bastards. I'm going to need to uh, close this door behind me, I guess. Alright, I'm going to close the door behind me. Can I do that? Yes. I'm going to close the door behind me so I don't keep dropping in. So there you go. I failed. And uh fucker came at me there. 
But in order to protect myself a little better, I'm going to close this door. Alright. Now... We shouldn't get ambushed by those guys. Until we open the doors, of course. But let's go ahead and enter the code again. So let's do 901. We'll go 019. And there we go. I fucked it up again. So I've tried all those. So I gotta try 0. I gotta try like uh, 091. Try zero nine one this time. So other than the incoming, you know, uh, razors, we should be okay. But realistically, if we keep fucking this up, guys, uh, Mr. Brenner's gonna come find us, just like he did uh, on an earlier time when I tried opening the front door and I uh, kept fucking it up. Mr. Brenner came and gave me a visit, so. We need to stop fucking this up, really. So we're going to do 091. And then we're going to try... Like 109 and then 190. There we go. That's the one. So now we're in here. And this is a fucking closet. The fuck? Okay. Well, we found fuses in here, weapon cleaning kit, electricity tools. Uh, not what I was wanting to do, but that's okay. There was a closet, so this one's got to be the right one. Okay. All right. So now we have a new set of numbers to try. Eight five six. So we're gonna try eight five six. Eight six five. And then we'll try like six five eight. So let's try this. Eight five six eight six five six Ah And it fucked up. Alright, so it's not eight five six or eight six five. Oh god! I didn't know that there was a fucking trap door. Alright. That, that the Dow sword is so much nicer, guys. Holy shit. Two swipe and you're done. It's just a two swipe. Now we need to try again. So we're going to do 658, 685, and then like 568. So. God damn it. The 658 wasn't it, I don't think. Uh. So if you if you have a higher intelligence, guys, you'll have more time on these keypads. I mean, excuse me. I keep saying that. If you have higher thievery skill, you will have a longer time to do the keypads, okay? Before they time out on you. So do know that thievery does matter, but in this case, I wanted to take stealth. Just to show you the differences, I guess. But realistically... If it was really me, guys, I would just take thievery uh, for, like, going forward. Because if you're going to do these a lot, you don't want to deal with all these inconveniences of these timers running out on you so fast. As well as just picking locks in general. Um, you know, in here, you have a lot of lockers to go through, I'm sure. And thievery would just be the better way to go. I took stealth on this run. Um, for the purposes of 
trying to see the difference between, you know, being a little quieter versus not. And to me, it's kind of negligible, especially if you play more of an aggressive play style like I'm playing. I would probably just go ahead and forgo the stealth and go with go with thievery. So, so that's what I would modify. I would modify um, keep melee advanced, advanced running, and switch stealth for thievery, and then keep advanced medical a thousand million percent. Okay. <laughs> so let's try six eight five. I just did 685 twice. God damn it, I'm gonna wake Brenner. Let's try the five six eight combos now. There we go, five six eight. Oh fuck. Well, these tool the okay, so these tool closets will give you fuses and a toolbox. All of which are useful things. But god damn it. That's not what I wanted. Well, there you have it, folks. Here you can see what's in here one of these little storage things here oh god really I rushed in and he got me what the fuck Spear is not the way for these guys. Not the way. All right, we're switching, guys. I'm gonna throw a spear at him. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck me, guys. Okay, guys, so if you're starting from the top of the bunker, you run your way down. You're going to want to open these set of doors. Come left, open these doors. And then right in here to your left is going to be the generator that we're going to need to put the new fuse in. Once you clear the room, you're going to go ahead and come inside the uh, fuse box area here. And we're going to go ahead and attach a fuse. So now we need to go ahead and operate what areas we need. Um, so you would basically flip on the areas that you need. I'm going to do... Um, a, B, C, um, D, and that's pretty much good for me for now, um, because that's going to add up to, let's see, what is it going to add up to? So we got 200, 100, 100, so we got 400, 500. E is, uh, 200, so we got 700. We got F, 800, 900. And then if we do G, 
it's actually going to overload the fuse so we don't want that um, so we're going to leave these these two alone and go from there so now we're going to leave this room and we're going to go into the next area and we have a key card that we you know spawned in obviously but if you find them uh, you'll be able to access these doors without having to manually open them. The depositories are a great place to find fuses, toolboxes, etc. Um, so go ahead in there and use the keypad to get yourself in, as we've shown. We're going to go ahead and keep moving forward here using the key card that we have. And then we're going to keep going forward here. And we're going to hang a left after we open all the doors. There's going to be a horde of Zs here. We're going to have to deal with all of these guys. Once you come down here, there's a bunch of mechs, um, you know, parted out in here. Hang a, a right over here. And then we're going to need to make the fuses turn on for this bottom level here. So we need to find the generator room for level, the, the second level down here. So that we can open H. And that should allow us to find the uh, module station so that you can refill your modules for your intelligence to permanently increase it. We're going to keep moving here. And there it is, the little lightning bolt symbol will tell you that you're in the right place. Let me take this guy out really quick. There you go. Gotta be quiet for a minute. Got the razors trying to spawn in to drop from the ceiling here. Alright, we should be fine. Clear the room. All right, then next you're going to want to go ahead and add the fuse in here. I'm going to use a thousand fuse. It gives us about 20 minutes of light. We're going to need to decide what areas we want. Um, I'm not going to go in after Mr. Brenner today, but if you wanted to, you could go in uh, and do that through going through D or through C or G. Um, but we might. I'm not sure yet. In the meantime, we're going to open up H for sure, F, E, and D, and I'm going to just try those. So H, that's 200 amps, F is 1, E is 1, so we've got 4, another 1, 5, A, and B, and then that should be fine. We won't need any extra. So let's go ahead and back out of there. And hopefully now we can get in to the old laboratory. And we can see what's in here. There's a creepy Z. Just waiting here like a creep. Another. Oh, fuck. Check the rooms, guys. Check the rooms. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and inject myself here. And there's a fucker right there, being a creep. Boom, he's dead. And here's where we needed to be, guys. So I'm going to close myself in here. This is the module, BCU memory module station. So from here, if you have any of these modules, which I want to respawn again, All right, you have four of them. And like we showed you earlier, you can increase your intelligence permanently. 
but basically if you found these in the world like in here inside the bunker they would be empty as I've mentioned before what you would do is you would basically um, use these stations here to fill one and you could fill it once every six hours and so if you had one in your hands um, you know it says it requires BCU memory module we don't have one that's empty so we can't do it but if we had an empty one you would come here and you'd go ahead and take the appropriate action on that uh, and then it would fill the module one you know one out of 16 or one out of eight one out of four one out of two depending on which ones you found so that's just something for you to know um, how to do it we showed you earlier how to upgrade your intelligence and also how to use the ampules um, for a, a uh, temporary intelligence increase so as we're at base intelligence of five now Again, if we do the ampules, I'm going to spawn it again really quick. Or let's see, INT. So I'm going to just do a level 3 one just to show you. If we spawn that wherever it landed, it would be great to know. Let me try again. Okay, we spawn it. All right. We take it in our hand here. We can go ahead and drink it like we've shown before and then now once completed it will show us eight intelligence as that was an enhancement of three points and these can these will last about an hour and again if you if you were to you know find two of those you can stack it as far as the time is concerned on how long it lasts for not necessarily it won't stack as far as how many more points you get but it will stack about every th like about 30 minutes at a time so that's something for you to know so if you want to have this effect longer um, the more you need to drink them so uh, and the benefit again of having an you know higher intelligence um, like eight is the max you can go in the game currently but the base value being five is the max you can go um, without having these temporary enhancements um, these will increase your skill XP on all your different skills whether it's strength skills constitution dexterity and intelligence that is what it is used for and it really benefits you that way to help you have all your skills leveling as efficiently as possible um, and so with that being said, um, these mo these ampules again, they do not they do not you know integrate with the memory module. They they are completely separate entities. Um, this one is temporary. This one is permanent. Okay, and as we showed you before, you would want to most likely go to a medical trader to get a 100% um, chance of having it successful uh, so that it's a permanent upgrade for you versus doing it yourself I have advanced medical so I have a 75% chance uh, as we've shown you before and I did fail it a few times so if you're gonna spend all this time guys going to and from these bunkers to get to this station in order to fill these one at a time uh, one you know uh, one fraction at a time and you have these on you as a player and you get killed in like PvP, you're gonna be fucking pissed. So just know that once you start carrying these, uh, you gotta be really careful with your, you know, surroundings and stuff like that. Otherwise you're just gonna waste it and it's gonna be gone. Somebody else is gonna benefit from it. Um, now, one thing I would like to see is if you are the one who fills it that it can't be used by other players because it's tied to your BCU that might be kinda cool but if you know they have it but if they have if the player takes your BCU chip that might could like override it that might be kind of a cool idea uh, it's just a little side idea so like I said guys these are gonna be very time-consuming to do 
um, so that you actually can upgrade your intelligence points. So if once you get a full uh, module, make sure you go to the medical trader so you can get that 100% chance of success rate. Um, I hope this guide has been helpful. It has been a it has been a a nightmare, but I do it for you guys. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys who have subscribed to my channel, who have liked my videos, commented on my videos. You guys are definitely the reason why I'm doing this. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that my channel now allows for subscriptions. So if you guys would be so kind and like to support the channel um, further financially, I would really appreciate that. Uh, you can start at as low as $4.99 a month, and that helps go towards me upgrading my uh, computer and other equipment that I need to provide these guides for you guys and different uh, video for you guys. So anything helps and I greatly appreciate your support. And if you'd like to support that way, that would be super. Also, if you'd like to have your own survival game server, such as Scum or another game, you can go ahead and check out my promo for GG Host, where you can get 50% off your first month by using my link below and my code MikeAlpha at checkout. It would be super great, and they have a great customer service team. Um, the product is good, and I think that you guys would benefit from it greatly. Get that 50% off your first month uh, with GG Host. If you are ever thinking about being a scum server owner or any other survival game server that they support, I believe it would benefit you greatly uh, and get you some savings there. If this guide has been helpful, make sure you smash the like button and turn on notifications so that you can see the next video and guides that I put out for Scum and edit any other games as well, such as DayZ, uh, a few other titles as well. I greatly appreciate it. By the way, about 96% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're new or if you've been here a while, and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of my next videos when they drop, as well as when I go live and do some live streaming, and I'd love to see you guys there. And I appreciate you guys always, and remember, be alpha. See you in the next video.